Hi guys, I'm Thierry from Android Rocket. Today I'm going to talk to you about features 3.0 and show you some of the new features. 3.0 is a massive update. We've completely rewritten the blog and added some really cool new features. So first of all, let's have a look at the global settings. On the Headway Rocket, you have a new item which is called Features and these are the global settings. One of the new features is the ability to rename the post app, for example. So we had someone the other day asking for a case study. I'm going to take that as an example. So when I save, the post app has been renamed successfully. Another cool new feature is to be able to change the slug. So when viewing individual items like this one, in the slug there's features and the features item name. And in this case, for example, I'll rename it to case studies as well. Then it's changed to case studies. Another set of settings we have added for the post type is the ability to enable the options, category and tags. Also added to post, page and any other post types that you would have on your install. So overall, there's a lot more control over the custom post type and what you can do with it in 3.0. The last global settings I quickly want to talk to you about is the image cleaner. When you're in the headway options on the, the image and you play with the image resizing, what it does is every time you change it, it creates new instances of each image. This can quickly increase your upload folder size. So we added that option, clean images, and it will remove all the unused images. In fact, it's very good to use that option before you back up your site to make sure that your site size stays as small as possible. The next new feature I'd like to show you is how to pull from different post types in features 3.0. Under the filters tab, we have a new option which is called post type, from which we can select multiple post types. For instance, I'm going to select case studies as well as posts. So now I have all my features items displaying as well as the post items. Now we have seen how to pull items from different post types, and sometimes it means that you're going to have a lot of items. It can affect your page load or just take too much space. So we have added another feature which is called load more. So for example, you would limit the number of features to three, but you want to let the user load more if wanted. So in this case, we're gonna load more and features per load, we're gonna set it to three. You only have the first three features showing, which doesn't take too much space. And if the user intends to see more, it can easily be done. There's still two new features I would like to take you through. And the first one is the new icon font support. I'm going to use the case study item for this example. This is where you would enter your icon font class. By default, the font awesome library is loading. On the font awesome site, you have the details of the full library. And if you choose to use the anchor icon, for example, it gives you the class you must use. So all that's left is to add that class to the icon class field. In the block options, I'm going to change the image type option to icon font, which will display the icon instead of displaying the image set. The icon font sizes are controlled using the font size. So in the visual editor, you can simply go and change the font size for the features image. Feature images, font size, and I can go and increase my font size quite a bit. I can also change the color. And there we go. That takes me to the last little feature I'm going to show you today, which is quite practical. Sometimes we would not want the text to float around the image. And for that, in the features block options, in the image tab, you have a new option, which is the wrap text around image. You simply disable that one, and then the text won't wrap around the image anymore. So that's it for this video. I haven't showed you all the new features. If you want to know more about it, go and visit headwayrocket.com. There's a new blog post called Say Hello to Features 3.0. Have a look there, there's the full description. You'll notice at the end, there's something that speaks about the blog being entirely rewritten in such a way that it can be extended by third-party developers. We didn't speak much about that, and the reason behind is because we didn't write documentation for it. But just keep it in mind, if you have special needs, talk to us as we do take custom development and we'll be more than happy to collaborate with you and make your site more awesome. Now it's your time to get your hands dirty and use the features block 3.0.
please feel free to drop us a mail if you want to give us feedback, report an issue or just tell us that you love using it. Bye bye for now. Thank you.